Hi guys, Rex here. As a hunting bow player, I often get asked to compare the hunting bow and the crossbow. These two weapons are seemingly very similar in that they are both primitive weapons that share similar mechanics, yet they feel vastly different in their playstyle. In this video, I will break down the similarities and differences between the two weapons in order to shed some light on this matter. In order to keep this as organized and easy to follow as possible, I'll begin by breaking down the similarities between the two weapons before we get into the differences. I'll then cover some implications for gameplay, more specifically how I think the differences between them affect the way they are or should be played. In the end, I'll round off with a conclusion and my personal thoughts on the matter. Let's get into it. Alright, the similarities between the bow and the crossbow. When you look at a bow and a crossbow, they are obviously similar weapons in many ways. Both are primitive weapons in a historical sense, although the crossbow is a far more advanced variant in the way that it is built. Looking at the time period in which Hunt Showdown takes place, both the bow and the crossbow are outdated weapons compared to most of the weapons that you see in the game. Both weapons have a high one-shot potential and they both apply a bleed effect on impact. Furthermore, both weapons will kill a player with a headshot on any range. The arrows and bolts that these weapons fire can be pulled out from their target or looted from the environment. I covered this in my bow guide video, which I will leave a link to in the description. Unlike most weapons in the game, the arrows and bolts must be redrawn between each shot. Both weapons are fairly quiet, which makes them great for dealing with AI and for stealthy gameplay in general, for example if you're playing solo. They are both amazing weapons for boss killing due to the high impact damage and the fact that you can retrieve your ammo, but also due to the pullout damage that you can deal by pulling your arrows and bolts from your targets. Another thing that these weapons have in common is the projectile drop mechanic, meaning your arrows and bolts will drop to the ground with distance, unlike any other gun in the game since the game doesn't have any bullet drop. The bow and crossbow share a fairly similar ammo pool in terms of the number of arrows or bolts. When it comes to the sights in these weapons, they are both primitive and hard to use in the beginning. Four sights compared with the arrow drop mechanic makes it very tricky to land shots on medium to long range. Because of the high damage and blade effect, both the bow and the crossbow are weapons that put a lot of pressure on your enemies, oftentimes forcing them to slow down and seek cover to heal. Ultimately, the bow and crossbow are high skill ceiling weapons that will take a lot of time to master. Because of this fact, they are all the more satisfying to play when you start noticing improvement. The differences between the bow and the crossbow. I mentioned reload time as one of the similarities between the two weapons. However, there's a huge difference in how this actually works. The bow's draw mechanic allows you to draw arrows to a varying degree, increasing damage and range of the projectile with time. This means that you can fire quick but less powerful shots when you need to, for instance when the target is already low due to another hit, or you can perform a maximum draw for a one-shot kill on an unsuspecting target. The crossbow is vastly different in this regard, and operates more like a single-shot rifle such as the Martini Henry or Sparks. You either draw your weapon or you don't, and once you fire a bolt you have to take the time to reload, which takes a lot longer than it does with the bow. Another thing worth mentioning regarding the same topic is that the rate of fire is much higher with the bow, especially if the crossbow user is not running the bolt thrower perk to reduce reload time. You could argue that the 100 hands trait with the bow works in the opposite way in that it increases the maximum draw time, but as per usual with the bow you can still release your arrow at any time. In other words, it brings an increased potential but not necessarily decreased rate of fire. The reload mechanics are vastly different between the bow and the crossbow. When you draw a bow, your movement is slowed down, which makes you a much easier target to hit, and as such, you are highly dependent on a good position that allows you to move in and out of cover between draws. The crossbow, however, can be reloaded whilst you're running, similar to how gun reloading works in the game. I mentioned that both weapons supply a bleed effect, which is an area in which the crossbow is superior in that both supply a stronger bleed effect compared to regular arrows. Damage-wise, both the bow and the crossbow have high one-shot potential, as previously mentioned, although the crossbow's damage, as you might expect, is higher by default. The crossbow does not have a gradual draw mechanic, meaning the damage will be the same with each shot and only affected by distance and body part modifiers, unlike the bow which has gradually increasing damage with increasing draw time. On the same note, the crossbow's range remains constant, while the bow's range increases with draw time. Both weapons have their own special ammo types. The bow comes with poison, concertina and frag arrows, all of which are fun to play but not very useful overall. The crossbow on the other hand comes with explosive bolts and shot bolts, both of which are more effective and easily implemented into serious gameplay. I won't cover this topic any further in this video, but I encourage you to experiment with the ammo types and make up your own opinion about it. Implications for gameplay Due to the reload time that both weapons have, correct movement and cover is important if you want to see success with either one of them. The crossbow's mechanics allow you to move around a lot more, effectively making you a much harder target to hit. This allows you to be more unpredictable and rotate to new angles much faster. While the crossbow adapts a hit and run playstyle, the bow depends on maintaining pressure either by keeping your enemies locked down and unable to move or preventing them from successfully pushing you. For the same reason, the bow is much more effective for hard pushes, such as a solo push versus a trio and a boss compound. 
The bow drastically outperforms the crossbow in intense close quarter situations where you are outnumbered and getting pushed. The quicker draw time and high damage allows you to drop multiple targets in a matter of seconds whilst maintaining pressure. The crossbow is quite the opposite, as you would have to fall back and reload or worst case get pushed and killed trying to reload. Depending on your sidearm would be crucial in a scenario like this. Due to having less projectile drop, the crossbow is easier to land shots with on distance. It is also highly effective for flicking shots as you won't have to draw your bolts once you perform the reload. This makes it much more effective to quick pick, for instance, which is amazing for wearing your enemies down and draining their medkits and consumables. Now that we have taken a look at the similarities and differences and how the aforementioned impact the way that the two weapons are played, I'll make a conclusion and round off with my own personal thoughts. The bow and crossbow are two weapons that naturally get compared a lot, and for good reason. They have more similarities than differences, and yet these differences make a significant impact on the way that the weapons are played and how it feels to play them. For anyone who watches my streams, you already know that I'm a diehard bow enthusiast, and hence my opinion on the matter might be clouded by that, although I've tried to remain objective throughout this video. If I am to draw a simple conclusion, I would say that the bow is more limited than the crossbow, and that it is far more difficult and time-consuming to master. The bow drastically outperforms the crossbow in close-range scenarios, while the crossbow outperforms the bow in most situations where quick movement is crucial. I would argue that the crossbow is much easier to learn, hence making it a great option for beginners. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference, and I don't think that is correct to claim that either weapon is better than the other. You always have to account for the external factors that come into play, and as such, there will always be scenarios where the bow is preferred over the crossbow and vice versa. I encourage you to try out both weapons and make up your own opinions about them. Hopefully, this video has given you some useful pointers. I can't yet give you a detailed guide on how to play the crossbow, as I haven't played it a whole lot. But if you're interested in learning how to play the hunting bow, I have two guides out on YouTube that will teach you everything I believe you need to know. That concludes this video. If I missed something, feel free to let me know. I'd like to round off with a question. Between the bow and the crossbow, which is your favorite and why? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you would like to see more content of this type, let me know in the comments below. I stream live on Twitch, 3 to 5 days per week. If you want to support the channel further, there's a Patreon page and you can find my schedule in the Discord channel. I'll leave all of my links in the description. Thank you so much for watching.